Hey there, if you're looking to level up your Instagram game, you're in the right place. In today's video, we are gonna share a valuable tutorial that will save you time and make your Instagram posting more efficient. That's right, Subi. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to post on Instagram directly from your desktop. This is one of our most popular videos and we're so excited to do the 2023 version. But before we get into it, if you're new here, we're the team behind the Instagram expert. I'm Morgan Sutton. And I'm Subi Zimmerman. And together we've taught thousands of businesswomen how to actually make money on Instagram through our digital courses and our coaching programs. And if you feel like a total beginner because you didn't grow up with a phone in your face all the time, but you want to have an easier way to grow your business and leave a legacy, hit that subscribe button because you are in the right place. So let's first talk about why it's valuable to learn how to post from your desktop on Instagram. First, I think using a larger screen and keyboard can make it easier sometimes to craft your captions. It also can make it easier to access video or image files if you're keeping them organized somewhere or manage multiple accounts if you have them. I totally understand wanting to be able to use this, especially when you are posting a lot. Yeah, plus posting from the desktop gives you the ability to access and organize your files easily. You can have all of your content, including images, videos, and graphics, conveniently stored on your computer, ready to be posted. That's why our team loves to post from the desktop using scheduling tools. Our favorite is Planoly but that's for another video. In this video, we're actually talking about how you can do it for free from Instagram.com, and most of the settings are really accessible. So that's what we're gonna cover today. Go ahead, Subi, and show them how to do it. Okay, so here's the step-by-step -step process of posting on Instagram from the desktop. Step one, open your preferred web browser and go to Instagram's website, Instagram.com. Step two, log into your Instagram account using your credentials. And if you have multiple accounts, make sure you select the correct one. Step three, once you're logged in, you'll notice that the desktop version of Instagram looks slightly different from the mobile app. However, most of the essential features are available. Step four, to create a new post, click on the plus icon, and this will open up a new window. Step five, now you can drag and drop your photos or videos into the upload window, or click on select files to browse through your computer and choose the content that you wanna post. It's pretty cool. A video can be uploaded as an individual reel, multiple files, or it can be dropped for a carousel. Step six, once your content is uploaded, click in the lower left-hand corner for the aspect ratio so that it's uploaded in the formatting that you want. This is really important. And then just hit next. For images, you can apply filters and make other edits, just like you would on mobile. For reels, you can see here that you can add and select a cover photo. You can make trims. But at this point of the recording, I can't do any of the extra design or captioning on the computer. Then you wanna hit next. Step seven. Craft your caption and hashtags and add a location tag by clicking on the respective fields below your photo or video. You can even add alt text right here on the desktop. We taught you all about alt text in a previous video, and I'll link that somewhere right here on the screen for you below. And that's it. You have successfully posted on Instagram from your desktop. Just hit share. That's so great, Subi. I love when we do this video like year after year because the features just keep getting better. Listener, will you give this video a thumbs up below if you love that step-by-step -step training? Please give it a thumbs up. Okay, now one more important caveat here that I think is really important to make, right? If you are creating a lot of reels, posting on Instagram.com may or may not be the right tool for you because you notice that in this tutorial, Sue didn't have that option to do captioning or add the hook. And if, if you've seen our other videos, you know how important that is. So just be aware of where this feature comes into your creation or posting process. Yeah, that's such a great point. So I would suggest the best thing could be to record and design in the app and then download the reel to your camera roll and save it to the cloud. And that way you could do all the extra steps on the computer 
if you'd like the bigger screen, which I know many of you do. That's the perfect workaround, Sue, especially if you are using the technique that we teach in our program pro, which is batching, right? So we're hoping that you're recording a handful of reels at one time and then working on the next phase of it in another sitting. So that would be perfect. Now, if you liked this tutorial and you want more step-by-step -step training, you are perfect for our workshop. Register for Get Found Online, our step-by-step -step Reels workshop, where we'll teach you exactly what to say and what buttons to click when creating a reel. It's the ultimate accountability experience, and you'll be doing the work live together with our guidance. And all you have to do is register for free at the link below. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Yeah, the bell. That way you'll get notified of our weekly Instagram drops right here to help you succeed on the platform. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can find us every day on Instagram at The Instagram Expert. And remember, posting from the desktop can save you so much time and make your Instagram strategy more efficient. So go ahead and give it a try. And we'll see you in the next video.